Hello, this is Rodney Washington, creative marketing strategist and chief photographer for stitchesanddishes.com. I'm responsible for many of the photos that you see on the site. As a photographer and blogger specializing in images of food, it's important that we display and share our images with our loyal readers, fans, and followers in a way that will entice you to come to the blog and hopefully go out and try the trucks and food vendors that we recommend. So in today's video tutorial, I want to show you how you can share your own photos on Twitter. Now, whether you're a food blogger or just someone who loves to take photos of food, you'll enjoy this lesson and I'll show you how to do it step by step. First off, I know many of you believe that Twitter is only for sharing text-based image messages. But now with new tools like TwitPic, which I'm going to show you today, you can add photos to your posts that you can instantly share with, fan, with fans, friends, and colleagues in a snap. It's very simple to do and only takes a few minutes. So let's get started. First, you'll want to create a folder on your computer where you will store your photos or the photos that, that you want to upload to TwitPic. Having a folder created will make it easier for you to locate the images when it's time to upload them. Second, you'll want to have a Twitter account, like what you see displayed here. This is our Stitches and Dishes Twitter page. Now, what, you, what I'm going to show you here, and in just a moment I'm going to actually increase the size of this, is you actually can see, if you roll your mouse over these, this little library of images, this is actually our TwitPic account where we actually upload the photographs of the food that we actually display and feature on the blog itself. Now, once you set up, if this is your first time actually doing this, you'll have to set up your TwitPic account, which I'm going to show you in the next screen. Um, and then once you upload your images, you'll be able to see them displayed on this profile like you see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to TwitPic, which is TwitPic, uh, T-W-I-T-P-I-C dot com. And if this is your first time coming to this, you'll need to create an account. Now, once you have your own Twitter account set up, you can then basically use the same username and login or password to also log into TwitPic. So since we already have an account established, all I have to do once I'm logged in is just click on this button here, and I'll blow it up so you can see it a little better, that says Upload Photo or Video. And you can also use TwitPic for videos. Um, they you have to be, I think, about 90 seconds or smaller in length. They can't be huge files, but you can also upload videos as well. So clicking on the Upload button here, we're going to take you to a page where we will then upload our photograph, in this case, our, our photograph. So what you want to do is you'll want to click on step number one, which is choose an image or video to upload, and click on the Browse button and it'll take you to a folder where you will have your images hosted. In this case, I have a folder already created, and the image I want to upload is a photograph of red velvet pancakes that were featured on the buttermilk truck, which you will find the review on stitchesanddishes.com. So I click on the file name of the image I want to upload, and I click on Open. And I also will then choose step two, which is add a message. So what I can say, for an example here, is try these amazing red velvet pancakes. Okay? And step three is posted to my Twitter account, which I automatically click by default and I go upload. So in a matter of seconds, the picture is uploaded. Okay. Then once it's done, the page will refresh and I automatically will see the photograph that I uh, have hosted currently on the blog. It is now in my TwitPic account. Okay. Now, if I want to leave an additional comment or put a link to my website or whatever I want to do, I can put that in there. I can add any tags that I might want to, um, uh, to add to the photograph. For an example, let's say a tag I might want to add is um, stitches 
and dishes. Another tag I may want to add is buttermilk truck because I know that that is the name of the food truck where these pancakes were created. And another tag I may want to add is food truck. Okay. And then once I've selected the tags I want, if I have any events I want to add to this, if, if like this is something that's coming up I want people to come to, I might add a link in there. If I want to add a location, if this is something that I want people to come out to, I could add a location to this or just regular Twitter tags. In this case, I'm going to leave these two alone and I'm just going to leave the Twitter tags and I'm going to click add. And then it's done. Okay. And it's really all, it's really that simple. So now what I can do is go back to my Twitter profile and refresh my page and then it should show my new photograph of my red velvet pancakes. Let me reduce the screen size and you can see it right here. So now on my main Twitter profile, I now have my new photograph of my red velvet pancakes uh, featured at the buttermilk truck. Okay. And it's just that simple. And if I click on a link here, actually TwitPic creates an actual URL I can click on that link and it'll show me a full size version of it. And again, I can add additional comments, additional posts, additional tweets or whatever I want to add right in here in this message area here and leave comments. I can share that link with my friends, my followers on the blog or on my Facebook page or send out an email. So there you have it. That's a simple way to use TwitPic to upload pictures to your Twitter profile account, to share them on your blog, to share them on your uh, your website, um, or in your Facebook profile. So that's it for today's lesson. This is Rodney Washington uh, signing off, and please come visit us and stop missing what you could be eating on stitchesanddishes.com.